fun way to look at Stampede and how important it is to our community can be seen through this year's marketing campaign. It's a Stampede thing. I can tell you mine has changed many times, but my new Stampede thing is over a million satisfied guests. It's a Stampede thing during a week of weather like we've just had. And yes, while we're on it, the weather has been one of the hardest and most tested the Stampede has ever faced. It certainly is one of the wettest that we've had on record, but the forecast really didn't reflect the weather that was on Stampede Park. Many of our afternoon rodeos actually went without rain, and the rain conveniently came between the rodeo and the chuck wagons, but it certainly was a difficult year for the weather. We do have extreme appreciation for all of our public and all of our guests who continued to support the Stampede throughout the 10 days. And so you may ask, why did our guests continue to celebrate at Stampede Park and out in the community during this trying time? Well, I believe it's because we are a great fair, a major music festival, an entertainment venue, and a very important gathering place for our members of the Treaty 7 community. And that's really what it is all about. Everything has in common that Stampede Park is a gathering place. It's a place for the community to come together and to celebrate. We experimented a few times this year with some pop-up value deals today and on Thursday and Friday. Our goal for today is that our guests' smiles become a little bit brighter, their memories become wonderful, and we all celebrate Stampede and the final Sunday together. Our programming this year was one of the best we've ever had. Our 2,300 volunteers, 3,200 employees, and hundreds of sponsors all came together to deliver a great Stampede. From our agricultural events, Coke Stage, Suncor Family Day, BMO Kids Day, I hope you'll agree it was a tremendous offering this year. And so how did we do at welcoming new guests? 18% of our visitors, or one in five, were guests of the Stampede for the very first time. This is actually up from 16% in 2015. Our ability to exceed expectations of our customers remains very, very strong. Over 90% of our visitors tell us during their exit surveys that we either met or exceeded their expectations. Our 50-50 is currently just over $1.3 million, which we believe is the largest 50-50 for an entertainment or sporting event in Alberta's history. We are absolutely thrilled with that result. This money supports so many worthy charities in Calgary and the surrounding community, including the Kinsman Club of Calgary, the Rotary Club, and of course the Calgary Stampede Foundation. We believe that Calgary has again shown the world that we are a can-do community and a very resilient community. Our stampede spirit is alive and doing very well in Calgary. I'd now like to welcome to the podium our president and chairman of the board, Mr. Bill Gray. Bill. Thanks, Warren. As Warren mentioned, our marketing uh, theme for this year's stampede was it's a stampede thing. And I have a number of favorite members, memories or stampede things that I'd like to share with you from this year's stampede. Firstly, I attended a number of pre-stampede events on July 6th and 7th throughout the city, and it was clear to me then that the stampede spirit was alive and strong, with most people already dressing Western on those days and ready to celebrate the stampede after a challenging economic year. We then proudly kicked off the stampede on July 8th with our parade marshals, PB and J, Paul Brandt, and Jan Arden. These two outstanding Calgarians demonstrated their own brand of Western hospitality. They leveraged the tagline PB&J into a community force by partnering with Calgary Co-op and Kraft Canada to donate 50 cases of peanut butter and jam to the Calgary Food Bank. The first year of NMAX Park as the beautiful new home of India Village was certainly a highlight. Situated on traditional Blackfoot land at the confluence of the Bow and the Elbow Rivers, it's truly a special place. It's a place both to learn about indigenous culture and to gather together, to gather together with friends and family. Later in the week, it was of course our great pleasure to welcome Prime Minister Trudeau along with his daughter Ellie Grace to Stampede Park. 
And we also welcome Federal Minister of Agriculture, the Honorable Lawrence McCauley, and several other federal, provincial, and municipal politicians to our park. We were especially pleased to tour M Minister McCauley through the agricultural barns, where he saw firsthand all of the important things the Stampede is doing to remain at the forefront of animal care and edu agriculture education. We've had a great rodeo so far leading up to today's finals. The human and animal competitors have performed brilliantly through some damp conditions. Clearly, the early rodeo highlight was the performance of 67-year-old barrel racer Mary Berger. She won the hearts of the crowd and will have lots of fans cheering her on today in the finals. And as we have come to expect, the chuck wagon races were thrilling. It seems clear that the new safety measures and rule changes implemented this year have had a positive impact and I'm looking forward to a final exciting heat tonight. Following the grandstand show every night, of course, or the chuck wagons every night is our grandstand show and it deservedly received great reviews from critics and most importantly from our nightly audiences. The show features top talent and is guided by the creative direction of Dave Pierce, who I'm also pleased to say was this week announced to be the new artistic director of the Young Canadians. And just a few highlights from the Midway, all of the dog bowl, the Peking acrobats and the adrenaline, Bell Adrenaline Ranch, people love those shows and we have had great feedback from all of our guests. And one personal highlight for me I'd like to mention, as president and chairman of the board, I have the privilege every day of recognizing and honoring outstanding and long-term Stampede volunteers by surprising them on our park in the midst of their volunteer duties and awarding them the President's Certificate of Appreciation. The Stampede has over 2,300 passionate and dedicated volunteers without whom the Stampede would not be possible. And awarding those 20 or so Certificates of Appreciation that I did throughout the 10 days was my personal highlight and I very much enjoyed it. It was a great experience. Thanks, that's all for me, but Warren and I will be happy to take questions.